Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're all having a really good day. Today I am out here with my herbs, particularly my couple outdoor basil plants. And today I'm doing a project to accomplish two different things. One, I want to get my plants to be much more bushier than they are. And then I also want to go ahead and start growing a couple new plants from the cuttings from these plants. So we can accomplish both of these things by doing something very simple and very easy. And then while we're doing it, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about the botany and the science behind the way that this actually works and why it does what it does and how the plant grows and keeps its alive and does all these new things. So if I bring you in close, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so this is called topping and it's going to make our bush be become a lot bushier. It's going to make it a lot more hardy and have a lot more branches coming off of it. As you can see, this is a very piddly little, I wouldn't even call this a bush here. So th this is going to work with any plant that is soft stemmed, in other words it's not woody, it's a green stem, a tree is woody, things like this are soft stemmed, it's bendable, it's green. And it's going to work with plants that also have an opposite leaf arrangement. So in other words, at every node along the stem, you have two simple leaves coming off. These are the two simple leaves, and then you have two buds right in the axils there of where the leaves come into the node. That's where these two other leaves come off of. And with those buds, that's where if we look at the anatomy of the plant, Every plant that is vertical growing like this is going to have what's called a terminal bud. The terminal bud is that very tippity top bud. It's where it's going to create its flower and where it has all these two little tiny leaves coming off. That's your terminal bud. Inside of your terminal bud is what's called an apical or apical meristem. Mer meristematic tissue is where there is rapid, rapid cell division for new growth. So in other words, instead of the cell growing into the one particular thing, it's supposed to be like a guard cell or something to that effect, it's going to continue dividing so that the plant can grow. So that's where you have your rapid vertical growth is in the apical meristem, which lies in the terminal bud. Now if we look back to what we were talking about before, where we have our opposite leaf arrangement, we have two leaves coming out of each node. And sorry, I'm trying to get this so you can see. I should go down here more. Two leaves coming off of each node. You have these little buds in here. Sometimes they'll turn into flowers. Sometimes they'll turn into leaflets. On the basil plant, it's turning into two little leaflets. Now these buds here are each called an axillary bud. So you have one axillary bud and two axillary buds. The way that topping off works, and like I said, you can do it on any plant that's set up like this, works really well with peppers, basil, that kind of thing, is I would go ahead and I want to get a cutting. And Now you can do this at the very tippity top of the plant, or you can do it as low as you want, depending on what you're trying to prune. Is you're pretty much, what you're going to do is you're going to remove that terminal blood. You're going to remove that apical meristem by getting rid of the terminal bud. So you want to come down and you want to pinch it off, nicely pinch it off. I'm using my fingernails, use scissors if you need to or something to that effect. Just above the next two axillary buds. See, I'm going a little lower because I want to do a cutting, but you want to do it right above two axillary buds. And you just pinch that off. Just nicely pinch it off. Now I've removed, what I've now done is I have removed my terminal bud, I've removed my apical, apical or apical meristem, and the plant needs, for it to do what it wants to do, for it to finish its life cycle, it needs a terminal bud, it needs an apical meristem. So what it's going to do is it's going to replace these two axillary buds with into apical meristem. So it now has two terminal buds on it. That's what the plan is going to do is it's pretty much saving itself by going, okay, I lost my terminal bud. I'm going to turn these two axillary buds into terminal buds. So those will start to grow up and I'll actually give you an example real quick of what it will do over time. Right here we have one of our bushier basil plants. And if you see right down here, you can see where a while back, if I move everything back here so that you can see, a while back I went ahead and I removed this stem's terminal bud. You can see the scar there of where it got pinched back. Now these two right here 
were its axillary buds at the time and they've now both turned into terminal buds into apical meristems and you can see the huge bee how much that is growing up and it's turning into as if it's its own stem now i could go ahead and do that again with these two and it would they would both fork a second time and you can just keep doing that and make the plant bushier and bushier so again if you look at the cutting that i just took off that other plant i had taken it right above those two it would be as if this was here and these were its two little axillary buds if that makes sense so those turn into the new plants now we can go ahead and we can turn this into its very own plant by simply going and getting a glass of water we'll go ahead and give this a nice fresh 45 degree angle cut to get some of that nice inner tissues exposed now because this plant is going to be trying to create roots off of it we don't want it to have to support all this vegetation that's way too much for this little stem to try to do it for itself to support all this vegetation and create new roots so i'll go ahead and just pinch off all these big leaves right up near the node even right at the top we'll get rid of all of this I'll even get one of the, rid of one of these guys up top. Then we'll go ahead and give that a fresh new cut with a clean pair of scissors and stick it in a glass of water. And I'll actually show you right here some different cuttings that I've done in the past. This one here, I took probably about a week and a half ago. You can see the nice root system that's coming off of it. This one here, I took probably about a little less than a week ago. And I don't know if you can see that on camera. It is just starting to get a couple of root hairs off of it. Now these are really nice because now I can literally just take these and go ahead and when I'm ready, take a little bit of soil and plant them in the soil and get a bunch of brand new basil plants, healthy basil plants. So I suggest doing this off of your healthiest mother plant your hardiest mother plant, take these cuttings, and then if you're somebody who buys these from the nursery every year rather than buying a bunch of flats or six packs to have enough plants, you can just buy one good bush and take a bunch of cuttings, get that bush to become bushier through topping it when you're taking these cuttings, and then you can get all new baby plants from it. I hope you guys liked that quick little how-to in botany session if you want to call it on one. I absolutely love learning the science behind how everything works. It's so mysterious to me and then when you go in and you really start learning how the plant's doing it, how it keeps itself alive, how hardy these plants are, all the different things you can do. I have a lot of fun with it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If I didn't explain well enough or if you have any questions, please definitely just leave me a comment below. I love discussing these things, getting to hear any information that you guys have or sharing more information with you. So definitely just let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We're having a pretty nice one out here today. You can see it's a little bit breezy. We've got some storms that have been coming in and out, so it's been really nice. But otherwise, I will see you guys later. God bless. I love you all, and bye-bye.